and assalamu alaikum sabiha imran here at park english lang well the topic that i selected for you today is a very commonly used expression in english and it, it is really very confusing for the students as well and it is the expression used to today we are going to discuss different forms of this expression used to and their usage as well before explaining you the topic i want to explain you the meaning of the word use use is a common regular verb which means to make use of something agar urdu mein baat kare to kisi cheez ka istemal karna it has a present form it has a past form it has a past participle form as well jaise hum kehte hain ki first form bhi hai iski second form bhi hai third form bhi hai since it is a regular verb we have to add ed to it to make past and past participle forms i have written three sentences on the board to explain you the meaning of this word use the first one main board par likhne ke liye kala pen istemal karti hu i use a black marker to write on the board This was the use of use in present tense. उसने दरख्त काटने के लिए एक कुल्हाड़ी इस्तेमाल की He used an एक to cut down the tree. ठीक है यहाँ पर जो use used हमने इस्तेमाल किया है ये past form में है She has used the same method to solve the sum. वो सवाल को हल करने के लिए वही तरीका इस्तेमाल कर चुकी है यहाँ पर हमने देखा कि use जो है वो past participle form है यानी कि third form है verb की जो हमने प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस में इस्तेमाल की है ये था वर्ब यूज का एक कॉमन और सिंपल यूजेज नम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द फर्स्ट एक्सप्रेशन विच इज टू बी यूज टू ओके विच मीन्स टू बी अकस्टम टू अगर उर्दू में बात करें तो आदि होना किसी काम का आदि होना एक होता है कि किसी काम की आदत होना और एक है उस काम का आदि बन जाना सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स डेट यू हैव बिकम अकस्टम टू यू हैव टू यूज दिस एक्सप्रेशन टू बी यूज टू ओके ही आर आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट B B can be in present tense if it is in present tense it will be is are or am okay and if we talk about B in the past tense that it can be was or were okay now i have just written a few sentences on the board to explain you the meaning of this expression the first one to go with is i'm um, used to your childish antics मैं तुम्हारी बचकाना हरकतों या शरारतों की आदि हूँ दे आर यूज टू हिज लेम एक्सक्यूज वो उसके झूठे बहानों के आदि हैं शी इज यूज टू फेस सच सिचुएशन वो इस तरह की सूरत हाल को फेस करने की आदि है Ali was used to it so it didn't make him any difference Ali chunke in surat hal ka aadi tha use koi fark nahi pada they were used to their tough life wo apni dushwar zindagi ke aadi the well these sentences were assertive or positive we can change them into negative and interrogative as well see the first one i'm used to your childish antics the negative will be I'm not used to your childish antics. The second one, they are not used to his lame excuses. She is not used to face such situations. Ali was not used to it, so it didn't make him any difference. They were not used to their tough life. If you want to change them into interrogative sentences, then they will go like this. Am I used to your childish antics? Are they used to his lame excuses? She is used to face such situation. Is she used to face such situations? Ali was used to it, so it didn't make him any difference. Was Ali used to it? They were used to their tough life. Were they used to their tough life? Just now we discussed the uses of the expression to be used to something. किसी चीज़ या किसी बात का आदि होना. To be accustomed to something. Okay, and now we are going to discuss the expression to be used to doing something. Okay. to be used to doing something to be accustomed to doing something kisi kaam ko karne ka aadi hona well to explain this i have written some examples here let's go through them the first one i am used to sleeping till late on the weekends main weekends par der tak sone ka aadi hu she is used to fighting over trivial things wo bekar baaton par ladne ki aadi hai You were used to telling tall stories. तुम ऐसी कहानियाँ सुनाने के आदि हो जिसपे कोई बिलीव नहीं कर सकता Here you have noticed that with used to we are using verb with ing which is called gerund. 
Some of the students get confused as to why are we using verb with ing with this to. A simple explanation for this can be that this to is a fixed part of this expression. It has nothing to do with the verb here. So we have to use a gerund here. We can change these assertive sentences into negative and interrogative as well. See, I am I'm not used to sleeping till late on the weekends. Am I used to sleeping till late on weekends? She is used to fighting over trivial things. She is not used to fighting over trivial things. Is she used to fighting over trivial things? The last one to go is you were used to telling tall stories. You were not used to telling tall stories. Were you used to telling tall stories? Now we're going to discuss another expression. It is to get used to something or to get used to doing something. It means to adapt to a new situation or thing. Kisi bhi kaam ko karne ka ya kisi cheez ka aadhi ban jana. Let's go through the examples that I've written here on the board and then discuss them in further. Well, the first example is, I didn't like the cold climate here first. Now I'm getting used to it. Mujhe yaha ka thanda mausam pehle pasan nahi tha. Lekin ab mein iska aadhi banta ja raha hoon. Second one, don't you worry, I'll, I'll get used to working in this environment. Tum fikar na karo, main is mahol mein kaam karne ka aadhi ban jaunga. Third one, I can't get used to your harsh behavior. I want to quit my job because I can't get used to your harsh behavior. Kyunki main tumhara harsh behavior bardash nahi kar sakta, main job chhodna chahta hoon. The next one is, every newcomer gets used to the situation here with the passage of time. Har naya aane wala vakt ke saath yaha ka aadhi ban jata hai, surat hal ka aadhi ban jata hai. This expression can be used in all the tenses. Okay, agar hum urdu mein kahe, to ye jo uh, expression hai, ise hum tamam tarah ke tenses mein istemal kar sakte hain. Dekhe, the uh, first one, just see the first one. I didn't like the cold climate first. Now I'm getting used to it. Here I have used present continuous tense which is called present progressive tense as well. And don't you worry, I'll get used to working in this environment. Take a here, I'll get used to working in this environment. Here I have used future tense, future uh, simple future tense. And in the third example, I can't get used to your harsh behavior. In this example, I have used this expression with can and in the next one every newcomer gets used to the situation here with the passage of time in this example we have used gets used to get used to here we have used it in simple present tense okay so this expression can be used in a number of ways in a number of situations and in all the tenses Urdu means ka matlab hota hai aadhi ban jana ya bante jana if you want to make negative and interrogative of this kind of sentences then you have to follow the rules of making negative and interrogative of the tenses that they are used in. For example, I'm getting used to it. I'm not getting used to it. Am I getting used to it? In the same way, I'll get used to working in this environment. I, I won't get used to or I will not get used to working in this environment. Will I get used to working in this environment? The same way I can't get is already in negative form. And the next one, every newcomer gets used to the situation here. Every newcomer does not get used to the situation here. Does every newcomer get used to the situation here? So in this way, you can change them into negative and interrogative. Well, now I'm going to explain you a very important structure of this expression used to. For this, you have to use the subject first of all, then you have to use this expression used to, and then you have to use the first form of the verb and the rest of the things of the sentence. Well, this structure is used to describe habits and the facts which are no longer true. Ye structure hum istemal karte hain jab hum un baato ke baare mein batana chahte hain jo ki ab wo aadat और वो बातें जो कि अब सच नहीं है या अब हम उन्हें क्विट कर चुके हैं खत्म कर चुके हैं छोड़ चुके हैं ठीक है इट इज अ फिक्स्ड एक्सप्रेशन और ये एक फिक्स्ड एक्सप्रेशन है किसी और टेंस में हम इसे इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते ये इसी तरह से इस्तेमाल होता है पास्ट में ही यूज होता है इसकी कोई प्रेजेंट और फ्यूचर फॉर्म्स नहीं हो सकती वेल एग्जांपल्स जो है यहां पे हैव रिटन सम एग्जांपल्स ओवर हियर लेट्स गो थ्रू देम द फर्स्ट वन इज आई यूज्ड टू प्ले विद डॉल्स एज अ चाइल्ड जब मैं बच्ची थी तो गुड़िया से खेला करती थी ठीक है अब नाम से सम ग्रोन अप आई डोंट प्ले विद डॉल्स एनी मोर शी यूज टू प्ले फ्रैंक्स ऑन पीपल नाउ शी हैज बिकम वेरी सीरियस वो लोगों के साथ मजाक किया करती थी उनके साथ प्रैंक्स किया करती थी प्रैक्टिकल जोक्स किया करती थी अब क्या है कि वो बहुत ज़्यादा सीरियस हो चुकी है और 
यहाँ भी आपने देखा कि पास्ट टेंस में ही यूज हुआ हुआ है द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल इज दे यूज टू बी इन माई क्लास वेन आई वॉज इन ग्रेट फोर जब मैं ग्रेड फोर में था वो मेरी क्लास में हुआ करते थे ठीक है ये एक फैक्ट है जो कि पास्ट का है अब ऐसा नहीं है इट मस्ट बी वेरी मच क्लियर दस इट इज़ अ फिक्स्ड एक्सप्रेशन इट कैन नॉट बी यूज इन एनी अदर टेंस और ये सिर्फ हम उस वक्त इस्तेमाल करते हैं जब हम पास्ट की आदतों के बारे में बताना चाहते हैं कि हम पास में क्या किया करते थे अब वो हम नहीं करते या पास में कौन सी बात जो थी वो एक फैक्ट थी और अब वो ट्रू नहीं है ठीक है इसकी नेगेटिव और प्रोगेटिव फॉर्म भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है उसे समझ लीजिए इसमें स्टूडेंट जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा कंफ्यूज रहते हैं वो क्या है लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट देम आई हैव द द नेगेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ द सेम स्ट्रक्चर इट इज यू हैव टू यूज द सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड सिंस आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज सिंपल पास टेंस सो यू हैव टू यूज डिड नॉट फॉर नेगेटिव एंड सिंस डिड इज यूज एंड दिस यूज विल चेंज इन यूज सब्जेक्ट प्लस डिंट प्लस यूज टू एंड देन यू हैव टू यूज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड ओके टू चेंज द सेंटेंस इन ट्रॉगेटिव यू हैव टू यूज डिड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देन यू विल यूज द सब्जेक्ट हियर देन कम्स यूज टू इन इट्स फर्स्ट फॉर्म एंड देन यू हैव टू यूज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द मेन वर्ब एंड अ क्वेश्चन मार्क हैज टू बी प्लेस देयर टू शो दैट इट इज अ क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स चेंज द सेंटेंसेज विच आर विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन टू नेगेटिव एंड एंड ट्रॉगेटिव फर्स्ट वन इज आई यूज टू प्ले विद डॉल्स एज अ चाइल्ड आई डिंट और आई डिड नॉट यूज टू प्ले विद डॉल्स एज अ चाइल्ड डिड आई यूज टू प्ले विद डॉल्स एज अ चाइल्ड सेकेंड वन शी यूज टू प्ले फ्रैंक्स ऑन पीपल ओके शी यूज टू प्ले फ्रैंक्स ऑन पीपल शी डिंट यूज टू प्ले फ्रैंक्स ऑन पीपल डिड शी यूज टू प्ले फ्रैंक्स ऑन पीपल दिस थर्ड वन द लास्ट वन दे यूज टू बी इन माई क्लास वेन आई वॉज इन ग्रेट फोर Okay, so the negative will be they didn't used to be in my class when I was in grade four. Did they used to be in my class when I was in grade four? Okay, so this was a very important expression that you have learned. Well, this was all about the expression used to, and I hope uh, today's video would have added up to your knowledge. If you like today's video, do strike the thumbs up button, do share this video, and do subscribe to my channel as well. Press the bell icon as well so that whenever a new video is uploaded, you will be notified. I am looking forward to receiving your comments so that I could improve my videos, my lectures. It is a dijega. Goodbye and a love is.